books and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. La, 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 la. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. Just like Bjorn and Bucky! A Northern, Northern Expedition! expedition. This is the life. Nice day we're having. The nicest. It's so hot. Oh, my. A great day, right? So very great. Oh, so hot. Perfect day. The best. Huh? Too hot. Bjorn, what's with you? Of course it's hot. It's summer. But in the north, it's cold. The whole year round, nice and cool. Snow and icebergs everywhere. So hey, maybe you should take a trip up north then. Awesome idea! A northern expedition! But it's a long way away. I'd have to prepare and stuff. We'll get you prepared and stuff. Trust me, I'm an expert at everything. <laughs> You know, Bjorn, the north has gotten way norther. It's colder and bleaker and more dangerous here. You'll need warm clothes, good skis, hearty provisions, and, I don't know, snow screen cream? The north doesn't mess around, my friend. Look, I'm okay. Bucky, I'm not sure about this trip. Ugh. I've got your back, Bjorn. You won't go anywhere until I've trained you. Just wait. Hang on. Be right with you. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Nearly there now. <laughs> I hope you're excited, because this is going to be super duper kaplowy wowie. Everybody, it's my pleasure to present to you at this time the one-of-a-kind Northern Expedition Simulator Training Course! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much! Thank you! Whoa! Uh, I'm not so sure about all this, Bucky. Come on, you'll be fine! Let's go! It can strike at any moment. The whipping wind, the blinding snow, that elemental juggernaut, a northern blizzard! Feel the frigid, frozen fury. Ha <laughs> ha! Feathers in your face! Try to keep your footing on those slick, slippery slivers scattered on the sea, northern icebergs! Hey, what are these, Buck? Sure, but the North can be unpredictable. You never know what the North's gonna throw at you next. Dangling tree trunks of icy doom? It could happen. And don't forget the thrilling, deadly majesty of the North's countless snow-covered mountains! Where gravity, physics, and geometry conspire to take you on a pulse-pounding ride that will scare your downy white fur off! Oh, uh, help? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bucky? I'm not certain that I want uh, to go on this expedition up north. Sure you do. Don't worry. Thanks to me, you're now completely prepared for your northern expedition. Well, gosh. Guess I'll go? Great. Safe travels. Stay warm. Take lots of pictures. Um, so goodbye, I guess. Yep. Send us a postcard. You could maybe just stay, Bjorn. Is that really an option? Of course, pal! What does the North have to offer that we don't have right here? Icebergs, snow mountains, penguins, frostbite? We got all that stuff! Actually, why would you want to leave at all? I never really wanted to go at all. Yay! Bjorn's going to stay! <laughs> now you have your own North that you can share with friends! Complete with your very own yellow penguin! <laughs> Bucky, you do know penguins only live in the south. 
forest far, far away, two brave warriors set out to rescue a princess from the clutches of a terrible dragon. They were called Sir Buxalot, the Bravish, and Bjorndolf, the Great Wizard. And this is their tale. Not their actual tale, their story. Aha! These are fresh dragon tracks. Good thing I'm so bravish. <gasps> The beautiful princess lived in the very heart of the forest in a cold, lonely tower, which the dragon guarded day and night. Princess here! Hey, knights! Called the princess with all her might, and our heroes knew they must act. I'll construct an attack tower. You sneak around the back and magic up some rain. Ah, let's dig a pit to trap the dragon, and then we can lure him into it. There isn't time for that. We must act at once. They agreed with a lofty quintet. <laughs> well, this and that and that shall fit together and make a super advanced catapult to turn automatic. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere in the forest, Huh? Rain, rainy, rain, rain. Stop being such a pain and just rain! Pears? Uh, 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 this isn't right at all! Dragonus disappears! Uh, what the? It's a fish? Where'd my sword go? Oops. Oh, Sir Buxalot, I'm terribly sorry, friend. Maybe it's allergic to seafood. It wasn't. <laughs> the princess had no idea what her rescuers thought they were doing. Wise Bjorndolf, magically transform this stick into a spear! Uh-huh, I hear ya, right. Random stickus other thingus! Uh, yeah. That'll do. Huh? Huh? Ah. Whoa! Oh! 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 By all my knightly honor! And the bravish knight and wise wizard embarrass themselves again. Run! So where'd this pit come from? Uh, I dug it. But it's not a pit. It's supposed to be a dragon trap. Great. Now the dragon's going to eat us. And then, something unexpected. But, but, what are you doing? You're not eating us? Do we look like we taste that bad? I'm just so happy that my dragon saved you guys. The princess? We thought it was you that needed saving. You were crying out for help, right? Yes, I do want your help. Poor dragon here has stepped on an ouchie burr. And I can't get it out. It would be an enormous honor to come to your assistance, fair princess. Wise Bjorndolf, a little help? <laughs> and then they held a whopping dandy party. And that is the very end of the story. Yes! Let's go and play knights! I will be Sir Buxalot the Bravish! 
And I'll be the great and wise wizard Bjorndolf! Except my tricks will work. Well then, I will be the princess! You should be the dragon! If I'm the dragon, I'll be barbecuing some knights. Fine! Then you can be the princess in the tower! Let's go! Adventure is waiting for us! I hope that adventure brought some snacks. A trip to the stars! Bjorn! Get up! It's a disaster! Come on! Bong, 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 bong! Bjorn! A star has fallen! What do you mean? What star? Where did it fall? Bjorn! Come on! I'll tell you everything on the way! Remember you were telling me about shooting stars, right? Well, I was in the woods this morning, just walking, when bam! There was a star! Shining! I got real close and I just couldn't believe Whoa. it! There! We're here! Uh, hmm. Do you know huh? how early it is? Hmm. Hmm. Look at that! Isn't it awesome? It really is a star! I know! That's what I've been saying! Now, we just have to get it back into outer space. Who knows? It could be part of a constellation or something. But, Buck, space is a long way up. How will we get the star back up there? Duh! We'll build a spaceship! Rockets are easy McPeasy to build. Excuse me. Pardon me. Big fat genius coming through. Friends, I give you the great super McDuperific rocket jetomatic R Infinity Space Wagon! Applause would be appropriate. Hmm. Uh, don't rockets generally fly kinda up? Huh? Ah, uh, right. That's more like it. So that's our rocket. We've just gotta build it now. Let's get to it! Oh, except it is. <laughs> hey guys, by any chance have you seen? Oh, Franny! Hi there! Do you like our rocket? Hey, Franny! It's big! Uh, where's the door? Uh, uh coming right up! <sighs> We should return the star before sunset. Well, in that case, I guess we better hurry. Start the countdown! Five, four, three, two, one and three quarters! None and a half! Now! I probably should have gone to the toilet first. Did we do it? We actually did it! We're space bears! Bwam, 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 bwam! It's so awesome! So that's what space looks like. I thought it would be taller. <sighs> so, should we put the star back now? I said the star, not Chicky, dude. My bad. I mixed the levers up. This is so cool. Starlight, star bright, we hope this sets things right. Now it's time to head home. Take care of yourself, beautiful little star. Make a wish. Yeah, this has been a wonderful day. What a terrible day. What? Franny, what's wrong? It's just that I lost an earring somewhere in the forest and I haven't been able to find it. What did it look like? We'll help you find it right now. 
It's just like this one. Oh. Shiny and star-shaped. Oh, my. I think that your star earring is one of those up there. Uh, yeah? Where? In the sky. We just took it up there in our rocket. Guess now there's an earring constellation. Well, I guess it's cool that it will be shining in the night sky now. We should hang this one in space, too. Tomorrow, we'll fly up together and put it next to the other one. It'll be awesome.